This recording is designed to help you orient yourself around how to use these PDF documents in order to be able to use the virtual field trip to the best of your ability and to be able to navigate it in the way that it was intended to be used. So you'll see that there are, uh, this map on here shows you multiple different stops and then there are some symbols. So my first goal is to orient you to the symbols that you'll get used to using on these different virtual field trip stops, which is to say that there are multiple stops, but then there are things to examine in closer detail at each individual stop. So the first thing you'd wanna do is actually click in on the, any box that is in a red dashed square, and that will allow you to zoom into the location in more detail. The red yellow box typically will be located up in the top right corner will tell you what stop number you're at. So this particular PDF is all focused on stop one. You will also see a globe that will orient you, bring you back to this larger orientation map that will help you be able to remember where exactly stop one is or stop two is relative to other stops. And then lastly, you will also see a uh, orange star that allows you to zoom back outwards. So rather than scrolling from page to page, you'll zoom in and zoom out just like you would if you were actually at the location and you wanted to kind of look closer and then look back out again. Um, and actually one other thing that you will see at each of these stops are these blue arrows in either direction. And that allows you to basically rotate around. So let's explore. So the first couple pages on all of these PDF documents are gonna be the same. One is this document that describes all of the symbols. The next one shows you a larger map of the Salish Sea region and where these stops are located relative to that larger Salish Sea. And then a close up of a topographic map which shows you contour lines of elevation and shows you where each of these different stops are relative to those different elevation points. And then lastly, we have our orientation map. This is sort of helping us get a sense of where all the stops are and where we're gonna explore for this particular PDF. So I click on that and it takes me to stop one. So you'll see that stop one is located along this beach here and I'll zoom in. So now I can see that there's places I can zoom in with more detail. And that gives me a little bit of detail with a pen for scale. And then I can zoom back out again, or I can, rotate around. So it might help you to orient yourself just by starting to orient yourself where you are located at the macro scale and then start to play around with all of the different micro scale observations. I hope this helps and have fun exploring. <laughs>